Or you might like this. Bailey's bug blog in the garden. And it's quite apt that straight away I found what I was looking for. Talking to a few friends in the community. Uh, on about jumping spiders. Someone had posted a picture of one. And this is a, a little Celticus Senecus. Little zebra jumping spider. Just going about its business. Switched to my macro lens, my Signo 105mm at this point, with a Raynox. Raynox, which one is it? Raynox 150 is in this. I've not used it for a while. Um, you can see the camera shake. Macro lenses don't focus too well in low light at extreme close ups. However, I think this is good enough for, for what we're doing here. Um, again, I hope you get an idea of the creature and its markings. So these are wolf spiders um, and I'm not exactly sure which genus they are, it's Pardosa or Trocosa, it's one of the above in this instance, very common in gardens up and down the country, uh, you can see them lying in wait on sunny walls or flat surfaces and when they're hungry they'll actively hunt a creature down. Switching over to the macro, a nice close up there, you can see that they've got forward facing eyes which is quite common in these hunting spiders, it gives them a view of predator and prey uh, for all round vision in that instance and again it makes them a more effective predator.
finally here um, with the spider segment as it were uh, we've got Pursura mirabilis which is a nursery web spider confronting a cochinella species seven spot ladybird uh, the nursery web won't manage to tackle it because the ladybird for one they give off a pungent smell and they can also lock them down themselves down onto a surface so it would be very hard for the actual spider that size to actually get its fangs in um, as you can see the ladybird's not asked 